How's it going, everyone? My name is uh, Levy, and uh, you can go ahead and call me uh, Nurse Levy. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do to prepare for the NCLEX. Um, the NCLEX, wow, it's a big deal, right? Um, all through nursing school, people told you it's the hardest test you're going to take. That's what they say. They say that you're going to get out. You're going to think you failed. Um, you know, whatever, whether it's 75 or 265 questions you got, um, basically you don't know for, for two days. Okay. Now, um, I'm doing this video because I was encouraged by uh, some of my classmates who I talked to after uh, sharing how I prepared with them. Um, they encouraged me to share this with uh, anybody who will listen. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the first thing I would say is to go ahead and schedule the NCLEX. Um, schedule schedule it uh, maybe uh, a month or uh, 45 days um, at some point where you can then set a schedule and stick to it. Doesn't have to be an exact schedule, and uh, we're not talking more than you know two, three hours per day of preparing for this exam, um, because uh, just like studying, it's very important to um, take time off and dedicate to rest and relaxation. Um, anxiety is going to <laughs> Uh, mess you up on this exam. You, you don't want to doubt yourself too much um, and you don't want to go in there and go blank in every single question um, because that'll that'll mess you up a lot on, on, on the exam. Um, so, so what I would recommend is um, doing some sort of prep course such as Kaplan, um, Hearst, um, I heard ATI has one and doing as many questions as you can. LWW uh, Passpoint um, is also really good. Um, <clears throat> I prefer to use uh, LWW Passpoint on my uh, cell phone and on my tablet just because it's uh, it was easy. I could pick what categories to do. Um, I can do 5, 10, um, 15, and I would normally do them uh, like at a red light. I would do a question and at the next red light, the next one, and maybe just do five. And then I would re read the rationale um, because it's also very, very important to read not, not only why the right question is correct, but you also really want to know why the other question, the other answer choices were not correct. Um, because just like the right answer, you want to know why you really want to also know why the other ones were wrong so that you don't make the mistake, uh, the same mistake next time. Um, I would also say, um, once you do, uh, several questions, um, you're going to have a better idea of what sections you're, you're weak at and so uh, let's say you have a month, which is four weeks, or or let's say 45 days, um, which is six weeks. Let's say you got four to six weeks, right? Um, your first couple of weeks, you're going to want to just do several, several questions. And I would say, um, you know, uh, if you, you, can, you don't have to do them all at one time, but I will say, you know, wake up, do five while you get ready in the morning or in the afternoon. Um, do maybe 10 at lunch or dinner or both. Um, and then before you go to bed, uh, you know, try to challenge yourself to do uh, 10, at least 10 to 20. Um, again, you don't want to uh, overdo it. You don't want to have um, so much in your head that you that you're just um, thinking too much into the questions or. Um, or, uh, or, or whatnot. Okay. Now, um, Hearst, uh, and actually several other ones have, uh, really good, um, video reviews 
uh, about every topic. And um, it will not hurt to go over, even if you go to the in-class sessions, or if you don't, it would not hurt to go over those uh, videos because they're reviewing key information that you really need to know um, on this exam. You know, it, it's, it's, Curse is a great uh, content review. Content is like uh, topics, and Kaplan is great for um, question prep and um, what they call their decision tree, which which you'll have to um, you have to uh, attend to to learn more about that. Um, now both both companies have really good websites where you can go over. Um, and learn a little bit more about them. Uh, you can contact uh, their representative. Maybe your school might offer it, um, or or you can pony up the cash and, and go do it yourself. I mean, it's your future if you feel you want to succeed, <laughs> and um, then I would highly recommend doing some sort of uh, test prep. Not everybody does it. Um, if you supplement that with tons of questions and uh, the good thing about Passpoint by LWW um, is that they tell you your weaker sections. So for example, um, if uh, management of care is your weak section, focus on questions of management of care um, as you get toward the end, which you know your exam's coming up. Do um, do half of your uh, of your uh, your questions on, on general topics like the like the overview of everything on the exam, and then do your other half on your top three uh, weaknesses. Now about the top three, the NCLEX had the top three sections of the NCLEX, um, as you know, per the National Council for Council for State Boards of Nursing's website in the Candidate Bulletin. Um, it's going to be management of care, you know, uh, it's going to be um, physiological adaptation, and it's going to be um, pharmacology. Those top three sections are, uh, could be anywhere between 15 to 20 percent of the exam. 20, 40, 60, that's, that's more than half of the exam, if it's the maximum uh, amount. Now, the National Council for State Boards of Nursing has an app. A pharmacology app that I would highly recommend you to download. Um, I think it's called NCSBN uh, Farm Flashcards, and um, they go over either classes or families, which I would highly recommend. Um, go uh, use that app, and you go through the classes of medication. Now, the classes of medication is going to help you because that. That way you, so many meds are, there's so many meds, there's like hundreds of hundreds of medications. But if you know the classes and generally, um, you know, what medications are in each class, then you're going to be able to know exactly, um, or, or very similarly, their, their side effects, their indications, their contraindications, um, and anything pertinent that you need to know. The app itself is really great because it tells you what you, um, it's good to know, what you should know, and what you need to know about every class of medications. And you can uh, review uh, tons of tons of sections, so it's a really good app. Um, what else? Um, oh, so uh, what I did when I took my exam is I found the nearest hotel um, to my exam, and it happened to be on the same block uh, as the location where I took the exam. Um, I did that and I got a hotel room on the same block. I uh, stayed there the night before uh, or the day before of the exam and I just relaxed. I um, bought my favorite food. I bought my favorite um, drinks, you know, like uh, Yakult and other th and, uh um, water, etc., and bought my favorite snacks and um, kind of like pampered myself, I guess, just to relieve the anxiety of the exam the next day. Um, I made sure I was real comfortable. I uh, 
turn the AC down really cold because I study best when it's uh, cold as opposed to when it's hot. Um, and I just started uh, just you know watching TV, doing a few questions on uh, Passpoint. Um, I did do Kaplan and I did their um, question trainer one. Uh, just to get used to doing 75 questions in one sitting. Um, I highly recommend doing a few of those, you know, at least one, um, because you you want to see what 75 is like. And then if you keep doing more, you do another 75 and another 75. Just to max out at 265. Don't do more than um, 265. And give, give yourself breaks every two hours, just, lo just like the real NCLEX, okay? Um, I also watched lots of YouTube videos like the one you're watching now um, to see other people's experiences. Uh, I like I watched um, uh, uh, nursing professors talk about uh, like uh, re renal uh, disorders. I watched nursing professors talk about um, burns and pediatrics and um, maternity. I watched different videos that are free to watch on YouTube. Um, that just uh, kind of give like a quick 10, 15 minute, maybe 30 or an hour review on um, topics that um, that I found difficult for myself. Um, what else would I recommend? Oh yeah, so so once you're on the once you're taking the exam, uh, try to relax. Try try to um, collect yourself. Try to breathe. Um, you can't. So if you go, if you, I guess Pearson. I don't know if Pearson's the same in every single city, but the Pearson location I had had lockers with a number. So when you walked in, they would assign you a number based on the order that that you signed in, and uh, your number pertained to that locker. And in that locker, you know, you can have uh, snacks and water if you if you need to. Um, and in your breaks, you can you can go out to that section and uh, drink some water, um, maybe go to the restroom, have a snack, it has to be quick. So just do high calorie um, uh, snacks so that, so that uh, you have energy, you know, um, for the exam. Uh, so uh, if you get to question, so everybody knows that if you get to question 75, the test, 74, I would, 75, okay. The test would, will, is going to know whether or not um, you know enough to, to pass at 75 or whether um, you're just below the threshold and um, it needs to give you more questions. So if you do a question trainer uh, like in Kaplan, what Kaplan offers, um, what you can do is uh, make a make a, a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, I'm sorry, make a, use a graphing paper or uh, draw graphing paper in, in, in your paint program, Microsoft Paint. Draw a graphing uh, paper. Um, have your uh, Y axes, Y is this Y? I think, I think this is Y. Have your Y axes be, um, just be 75 up, and, or, or, or whatever you want to call it, whatever you want up, and then in the middle, uh, this is your um, passing threshold, okay? So draw, a green line all the way across up to your 75th question and your, your x-axis um, is going to be um, your number of questions so so count down 75 dots this way okay <laughs> so 75 questions 75 little notches at the bottom and then just well maybe about I don't know 50 up or, or something halfway put um, a green line all the way across on your first question that you – once you take your question training you have, and you have your result, you do not – by the way, you don't have to get 100 on everything in order to to pass, okay? So if you're between, you know, 55, 60, 70, 80, that's perfectly okay, you know? Um, you don't have to get not 85 or above to, to – to mean you're going to pass the NCLEX, okay? Now, if you're in the 30s, 40s, low 50s, something's you, you need to review some sort of topic 
um, or theme or whatever concept, nursing concept, and then you'll and then and then you should progress between you know uh, upper fifties to seventies. That that's totally okay. So back to the graph. So you have your graph with your green line, okay? Your first question now. Kaplan says that all of their questions are um, at the passing threshold, okay? So that's what they say. So your first question, if your first question, if you pass it, uh, then do one. Then your for under your first notch for question one, do one up, okay? D draw a dot up. Just one little square up. If you fail it, do a square down. Okay. And once in your second question, if you passed it, go up. If you failed it, go down. You know, and and so forth. And what's that? What that's going to tell you is whether or not you're you're generally above the threshold, above the passing threshold, or whether you you dip below or you drop or you're totally below. Because um, remember, for the to pass the, the NCLEX, you really only need, you know, what is it, um, uh, a 60-ish, 58, 60, 62 average um, of, of uh, right or wrong, okay? So as long as you're 50% or, or you're 50, 58, 60%-ish below, then you, you failed, Okay. <laughs> If you're 50, if your grade of 50 uh, of uh, excuse me, uh, 58 or 60 percent is above, and you haven't dropped below the threshold, then you're going to finish at 75 questions, and it's going to cut off at that point. So um, if you're kind of half in the middle, then you're, you're going to keep get you're going to keep on getting questions until you're half above or, or half below. Half above means you pass, or half to 60 percent, or whatever, 65 percent. Um, half, I mean, if you're half below, then you, you, you failed the NCLEX. And that's okay if you did. Um, it'll give you some sort of breakdown to see your weak sections. Um, now, if you did a, a question trainer or some sort of review course, then you should already know what your weak sections are. And you're 30 to 45 days before you test for the NCLEX. That time period should you should use that time period to review the sections that you're you're weak on, okay? Um, so if you get to question seventy five, and it cuts off, per perfect. You're that doesn't mean you pass, doesn't mean you fail. You're done, right? You're you've done. You walk out, uh, do their survey if you're, and then walk out. If it keeps giving you more questions, this is very important. OK, if it keeps on giving you more questions, then you need to slow down. Yes, <laughs> slow down and think about each question after that. Your first 75, you know, 15 question, 15 of those questions is, you know, our test test questions to see if they're going to um, prototype questions or whatever they're called. Um, so if you get to 76, start slowing down because you're going too fast and you missed something that you should not have missed in the first 75. So pace yourself in the first 75. Don't don't like speed through it, but also don't take forever for in every question. It's what recommended like one to two minute, one to one a minute and a half per question. Um, you know. Uh, that, I guess that's what they would recommend. No more, no more than two minutes. Um, you know, you guys can do the math. Uh, 265 questions, six hours, it, it, whatever that turns out to be. Um, but like I said, if you get to, if if your if your exam keeps on giving you more questions, okay. So like 76 here, I guess. If it gives you more, slow down and take your time because you're going too fast. And you need to take your time in each question. Um, that uh, concludes my uh, first video talking about the NCLEX. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, my name is uh, Nurse Levy. And if you like it, press the like button uh, here or here. 
uh, and uh, subscribe and share this. Uh, thanks and have a great day.